time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. With warmer weather bringing families outside, many of you may be spending evenings around a backyard fire pit, but we found out more and more injuries are being reported related to the fire pits. And consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with important information everyone should hear. That's right, backyard fire pits are a summertime ritual, but if you're not paying attention, things can quickly get out of control. Blankets, loose clothing, kids and alcohol all mixed together with a fire pit nearby. You've got a potential disaster. Fire pit injuries are a very serious injury that we see. We see, unfortunately, too many of them here at Rhode Island Burn Center. In fact, up to seven major burn injuries in Rhode Island a year. And those injuries, lifelong reminders of the dangers of fire pits. These are quite deep. Uh, they go through all the full thickness of the skin and they require surgery many times. But following a few simple safety tips can make Make your summer nights injury free. Open area, middle of the yard, garden hose handy is always the best way um, to operate a fire pit. And don't ever use gasoline to fuel your fire. Another safety tip for you, how far should you sit around the fire pit? Well, the general rule of thumb, it should be equal to your height. And when you're done with your fire pit, douse the fire with water because it could take up to 24 hours for the embers to cool off. We get young children, two, three, four years old, that walk into these fire pits at the beach, at parks, and get very serious scald, uh, sorry, burn to the bottom of their feet. We have to graft a couple of those kids over the years. That's a really debilitating injury. Now, also, you should check in with your town or city about fire pit regulations. Oftentimes, they require fire pits to be covered. Chimeneas can be a safer alternative to keep sparks from flying around, but the outside can be scalding hot. Bottom line, it's all about being smart and making sure your kids know the dangers, too. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm consumer reporter Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.